Hi everyone, this is my Artillery Sidewinder X2, but it's not just any Sidewinder. I've completely rebuilt it with high-end mods, and today, I'm putting it to the ultimate test, printing a Benchy at 250mm per second, with 10,000 acceleration in under 20 minutes. Will it succeed, or will I end up with a plastic disaster? Let's find out. Before we get to the speed test, let me show you what makes this printer different from stock. I swapped out the stock board for a BTT Manta M8P V2 with TMC2209 drivers. This gives me smoother movement and more control over my prints. This Cartographer 3D probe lets me create a perfect bed mesh and keep perfect Z offset every print. I have upgraded to Stealth Burner Extruder paired up with Revo Hot End, which is great for quick nozzle changes and high quality prints. Linear rails make movement more rigid and precise, reducing wobble at high speeds. Two stepper motors on Y axis provide me with extra torque, which means better performance for fast accelerations. This 7 inch screen is a huge upgrade for usability and control. And obviously the enclosure, which is essential for printing materials like ABS and ASA without warping. Alright, let's have some fun! I've tuned my slicer settings for high speed printing, 250mm per second print speed, 10k acceleration, and a 0.2mm layer height. Let's see how this turns out. My goal was to get the slicer's estimated print time under 20 minutes to push this printer to its limits and see not only how much of a beating it can take but also what kind of quality it can still deliver. To be honest with you, I have never seen this printer going that fast. It was my first 3D printer ever and I did not know which sort of speed were good, so I always capped it at around 100mm per second and some low accelerations. Seeing it now printing at those speeds just show me how much I underestimated it. Wow!
the moment of truth, and boom. We finished. The detail isn't perfect, but for this speed, that's impressive. The main issues are cooling and light stringing, but no layer shifts or skipped steps which is pretty impressive. Overall, I'd say this is a win. For comparison, this one was printed at much lower speeds and 1.5k accelerations, no surprise it turned out perfect. So, was this experiment a success? Let me know in the comments. Also, if you want more crazy 3D printing tests, hit that subscribe button and drop a like. And if you have ideas please let me know.